yourselves and you're watching Brett O Live. Welcome everybody to the Brett O Live room tour. Ever since I moved into this new room, I feel like I've never really gotten you guys the proper good room tour video. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a proper, fully complete Brett O Live room tour right behind me is the door we're gonna be going in and it'll be here but before we do smash a like on the video subscribe to bread alive as well as commenting down below what else should i add to the room we're about to go in right now so let's do it opening the door just like that we are in yes a bunch of little changes have happened and we are fully updating this video. Let's take a deep dive into the Brett Alive room. We're gonna start by the door and then we are going to work our way all the way around the room to the bathroom which is right there. Let's jump right in. Behind the door we do have a solid steel chair that I picked up from Walmart. You never know when I'm gonna have a random match so I always got that behind the door. And moving a little closer on the door handle we do have this little sweet dreams pillow i've had this freaking forever it was on my last room door handle literally as long as i could remember uh, remember so i always have it on the inside not sure why um but yeah it just always sits there moving to the first giganto shelf here it is starting at the top we got the daily bugle as you guys know i am a lego fan so we got the daily daily bugle on the top of this shelf fully complete decked out a bunch of different scenes going on right next to that we do have the sanctum sanctorum with dr strange on top i just got two marvel sets in manhattan new york uh, right on top of the shelf right there. I think that looks dope. Moving down, we got some Star Wars. We have all my clone troopers right up front looking so wicked. Basically, almost every single one they've done. I'm trying to get every single clone trooper that they've made. If they ever release a clone in the Black Series, I buy it. Moving a little more in depth, we do have um, a Rock signature back there. A CM Punk Xbox 360 2K13 right there. Not 2K, but yeah, just WWE 13. We got some Mandalorians right there. Got Ahsoka, Anakin. These are basically all my Star Wars Black Series. Bunch of Imperial figures back there. Looking really, to uh, really dope. Grand Admiral Thrawn, Crosshair, Anakin, Obi-Wan. But yeah, the clones up front are definitely my favorite. That is so sick. And then we do have some First Order over here. J Styles signed signature, WWE 2K18 little plaque. Moving down, we do have some more WWE stuff in the background. We got the Finn Balor statue, Jake the Snake Roberts signature. We got those AJ Styles gloves. Shinsuke Nakamura signature that I got in the W2K17 NXT edition. And then there's also a Carlito signature right there. Dolph Ziggler signature that I got personally signed. We got some UFC figures right up front. Honestly, I wish they continued this line. I know it didn't sell well. But dude, these figures are so cool, bro. We have the all of Series 1 right there of those UFC figures. Got a nice looking uh, Undertaker funny car right there, which is cool. Got the Imperial Probe Droid Lego set, which I think is a very, very underrated Lego set. It barely fit under there with the antennas. So I'm glad. I was able to get it in there and if you guys are wondering where I got the shelf from I did get it from Target it's a great little bookshelf or of course I'm using it for action figures and collectibles here we have all of the Bad Batch from season one Hunter Crosshair Wrecker Tech Echo and of course Omega right there and then once again behind them we got Finn Balor moving down we do have the Great Pyramid of Giza Lego set I thought it was a really cool Lego so I picked it up, built it, and displayed it on my shelf. Got a Terry Funk signature there. Rock right there. He, yeah, that, that one's not signed. Neither is that Stone Cold, but they are there. And then we do have a product shot of me with the World Championship. Hopefully one day. You never know. And we do have some nice Hot Wheels Starship Select Star Wars ships. And we got the X-Wing, the Imperial Shuttle. And then we also have the uh, Boba Fett Slave 1. Very, very cool. Moving down, we do have more wrestling signatures. We got Sasha Banks. AJ Styles, again, I have like literally three AJ Styles signatures. Alisa Atut right there. And then we also do have this nice ATST Hothwalker, which is really cool. Got it displayed there. And then we also do have the Sith Scythe right here, which is really dope. I got this from Target. I'm actually going to put one of those wings down, display that side of the wing. Super dope. And then on the bottom shelf, we do have Darth Vader's helmet. Looking cool. Right next to that, we do have a Stormtrooper helmet below this chair, which has Rambling Rabbit on it. 
This is, of course, my Clash of Champions chair from 2016. Moving up, we do have this Marvel Comics little poster. I had that in my old room. I thought I'd continue it into this one. I think it's just cool. I think it's slick. You have a bunch of the main characters from the Avengers on there. And then right above that, we have my favorite Disney Plus show, uh, The Mandalorian, bro. I thought that's a super dope poster. If you guys need wall decor for anything, go to Hobby Lobby. I'm just saying. They always have deals there. Uh, so I highly recommend hitting that place up. I might even do a toy hunt there one day. Um, We got this dresser right here which i had in my old room it's got some stuff on top of it like this undertaker semi truck we got uh lightning mcqueen and freaking uh mater right there from one of my favorite animated movies cars nice looking vizio soundbar we got uh, all the versions of optimus prime right there we are playing a little wrestlemania 35 on the tv we got uh, an Avengers Infinity War poster right above the TV. Super awesome. Fits well. Right above the desk, we got the Spider-Man poster. And I've had this Spider-Man poster in that frame for a while. I do want to change it eventually to a WWE poster. So hopefully that could be done soon. Moving down here, we do have a John Cena signature right above the payback chair, which is holding the Roman Reigns side plates. Everybody was making fun of me. They're like, dude, why'd you get those? You can't even put them in the belt. I just thought they were really cool. Like, even in this case, bro, look at that. That looks so dope. And, of course, the chair just has Mr. Triple H on it, of course. Paul Levesque right there. Moving down below the chair, we do have a ring bell from ringside. Looks really, really cool. And then on top of the desk, we do have just a bunch of different collectibles. Nano Gullet, Smackdown hat, some pop vinyls, some Marvel Legends. Got a Ryback signature. Club pin, Moon Knight, Mysterio, CM Punk card, Hall of Fame, um, Hall of Fame replica ring, Spider Man, Batman, we got Stone Cold, Thanos, Venom, freaking um, why am I blanking on his name? Captain Jack Sparrow, we got a Ray Phoenix breakout card. Thing, Money in the Bank briefcase, WWE Collector Cups, more pop vinyls. Got another Thanos over there. We do have a Chris Benoit card right there, as well as Batista and JBL. Of course, I do not support Chris Benoit as the person, more uh, the wrestler, obviously. Raw is War, All-State Arena Cups. Those are pretty classic. My dad had given me those. And we do have the Thanos gauntlet there. And then moving down, we got the iMac looking very, very gorgeous. And then a little smaller shelves. We do have my classic WWE Rumblers. And then we also do have Captain Rex's helmet, my newest addition to my desk. That looks so freaking sick, bro. I love that Lego set. That's one of my favorite Lego sets ever. Got that replica United States Championship on the wall. That one's metal. This one is commemorative. Got that Universal Championship in the red. Looking dope. Moving to the ground, more or less. We do have the Captain America shield. The full Titanic 9,090 pieces. This table that I have it on is like a footwear. Like you could put like your shoes on it. It's like a shoe rack. But I thought it would work great for Legos. And it's actually a pretty nice shoe rack. Uh, no, I'm not the biggest fan of the Packers. But I did get that helmet. Because I thought it would look really good right in front of the Bears helmet. Because that's like one of my favorite robberies in NFL. Uh, we got a black pearl inside of a bottle. Which is cool. Down here we do have some old Star Wars figures in the shoe rack but then moving down we do have a nice star wars poster a wwe belt hanger as well as this freaking awesome puzzle star wars the clone wars final season poster that i made and glued because that is one of the sickest posters i've ever seen we do have boba fett's helmet right here that's the Black Series 1, so the visor drops and everything. It's super dope. Moving up above the window, we do have the Millennium Falcon little poster that I also got from Hobby Lobby. There's some cool stuff there, guys. I highly recommend popping into Hobby Lobby. They got some good stuff. Moving over by the couch. The only reason I got this couch in this room is because we do watch a lot of WWE events in here, and I like to have people over to watch them, so... This couch is for that reason. We got the Never Give Up towel. We got the Roman Reigns freaking uh, entrance vest that I have that I've had for a while. Fun fact: I actually bought that at a WWE Raw event, and Roman Reigns actually pointed at me and acknowledged me, Bert Alive, for wearing his $60 vest that I spent money on at the event, which was pretty cool. Got that Bears towel that I also got from Soldier Field. We got the Universal and WWE Championships on the wall right there, both commemorative, but they look freaking real as crap. Best in the world AEW flag, Monsters of the Midway, Bears flag right below that. We got my subwoofer right there for the Vizio soundbar. A couple John Cena foam fingers, Dana Bryan foam fingers, some uh, little classic wristbands right there from WWE superstars. We got the bed with the freaking amazing looking blue 
combination of white and black. It looks amazing. Right above the bed, yes, I know I've, I've showed this before, but we got all the Ultimate Edition boxes. I keep all my Ultimate Edition boxes because they're dope as crap. So I got them stacked like two towers right there, looking awesome. Got a WWE Championship Fathead, Marvel poster, and then we got some Target exclusive Star Wars Black Series, Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Clone Pilot Hawk. Got a nice little surround sound on each side of the bed, if you guys could see it over there. Moving over to the other side of the bed, we got the full send American flag up there. And then we also do have the YouTube play button with my name on it, which is super awesome, bro. I love that thing. We got the M for Marvel right below that. You can see a bunch of different uh, comic posters in that. And then on the nightstand, we do have the Batman Tumblr. We got a nice little alarm clock that's not on. We got the lamp with the CM Punk hat. And then there's a look at the nightstand. Here's a look at the hamper. I don't know why you guys would want to see that. But anyways, there's looking at some classic lightsabers that I did not want to sell. Darth Maul, as well as Kylo Ren. Those are freaking epic. Another thing from Hobby Lobby, got that Star Wars poster, as well as the Bad Batch poster right here. I'm a big fan of the Bad Batch. I know some people aren't, but I am. Uh, jumping into the closet, there's really nothing going on in here. Um... Just got some cool stuff above there. Just some boxes, some random stuff. Uh, nothing too crazy. I never showed this on the channel. Actually, I want to show this. My brother actually 3D printed this. This Bread Alive logo with plastic. I thought this was super dope. I've never shown that on the channel. So, thought I'd do that now. Great job, Brother Dink. And we got some clothes in here. Some shoes down below. Got those WrestleMania posters, which I will put up in my next closet. Stay tuned. Because if you guys remember that classic... Uh, closet shot that I did a while back. Got the WWE Fathead inside. Ambulance poster directed by Michael Bay right there. I already talked about the Bad Batch uh, poster moving to the side of that. All nine movies of Star Wars right there from the prequels to the originals to the sequels. And we got the Star Wars logo right above that which looks dope. And then down below we do have Stormbreaker which is super super sick. That's a um... I think it's Hasbro, right? And um, yeah, they made a replica Stormbreaker, and I'm like, I'm buying the crap out of that. Got that Spider-Man Street sign, and then above the entrance, we do have the AJ Styles, Bread Alive custom freaking banner with his signature right there. Got that personally signed. And then the bathroom's nothing crazy. There's no WWE in here, so I'm not going to go too in-depth. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop a like. Once again, comment down below what you guys think I should add to the room. I think it's looking sick already, but the one thing that I didn't show in the video is I do have also the uh, the Commander Cody Lego head helmet, and I'm going to be putting it below the Captain Rex helmet right there. So that's the only thing that was missing, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible because it's basically complete. Now, if you guys want to see a full room tour of the WWE action figure room downstairs, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time. Spread alive!